when 13 unclaimed veterans were buried at Dallas Fort Worth National Cemetery earlier this year. Our stories did help to locate some of their families and today we've got a new development. Help from another WFAA viewer and a few more answers for one North Texas family. Here's our Kevin Reese. The veterans were buried last April, 13 men who each died alone. No family could be found to claim them, none to stand by their graves. It is sad for me, but um, it's a blessing also. But our story did find a little sister, Margie Johnson in Oakwood, Texas. Bobby Gleason was the big brother who joined the Air Force, served a full career, retired, and then for 20 more years, never came home. He died alone in a Dallas roadside hotel. I still wonder because, you know, I think about, I, w I just want to know what he was going through or, you know, uh, what made him live the way he did. But then last month, someone bought the contents of an abandoned storage container in Mesquite and found a few more answers for a grieving little sister. When I got the call, I was, I was just so excited. Bobby Gleason's uniform, his awards and commendations, pictures she had never seen before, and his dog tags that she now carries with her everywhere she goes. Oh, it just makes me feel close to him or something. Mm -hmm. Close to the brother that I really never knew a lot about. But while she's grateful that a stranger decided to return all of this to her, mm -hmm. she still struggles okay. because the box of mementos still hasn't solved the mystery. So I had the feeling that it was going to be something in there that would give me some closure. And that's what I was hoping and praying for. But, it, you know, but it wasn't. It's I, that it's that search for answers that you yeah, thought might have been there in exactly. storage too. Exactly. That's what I was searching for. I'm I'm still searching for answers. He knew he had a little sister back here. You know, what made him forget all about me? That's the thing I worry about the most. Is finding that answer. Yes. As that search continues, she at least knows where her brother is now. That he is buried where he would want his story to end. I think he's with his family. I think he's actually with his family, and I think that's where he would want to be. He's right there. While questions linger for the family, he left behind. In Oakwood, Texas, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News.